Aren't you in Lackawanna right now? Aren't you in Lackawanna right now? You're on this side of the bridge? Yeah, that's what are you doing? Are you, uh, legal, are you illegally parked up there? I'll tell you what. I got ID right here. What's it? This is an illegal detention. No, I already told you, you broke the vehicle and traffic law within 100 yards of my time. That you're so hostile with me, and I don't know you. I've never met you before. I wasn't right? hostile until you guys put your hands on me. Because you started going into your car. Right? You asked for ID. Down here today, Erie County, fam, everybody wants to know, are we going to file a lawsuit? The answer is no. We're going to file 11. Now I got to go get some papers notarized. Go. These kids want to act up in school, want to go to school in a bad shoe, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school bathroom no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to bash me like this? No, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. Hey. 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 Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your identity. You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. Aren't you in Lackawanna right now? Aren't you in Lackawanna right, right now? You're on this side of the bridge. Yeah, that's what are you doing? The sign's up here. The bridge, man. The bridge is right there. That's the that you're in Lackawanna, aren't you? I don't know, man. This looks like you're chilling in Lackawanna, writing tickets. What's your name? Within 100 yards? Yep. Are, you, uh, legal, are you legally parked up there? I popped up there. That's me. Okay. Yeah, I, I come down here to check out this activity right here. What's your name? My name's Dan. Dan what? That's all you get. Well, I need to write you a ticket, so I well, need your full name. Go write a parking ticket. What's that? That's not a moving violation, is it? Come on. Let's walk over your car. How can I help you? Let's walk over You can get back in Hamburg. That's for sure. I didn't leave him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Walk what are you touching me for, Joe? I'll tell you what. I got ID right here. What's that? Erie County fam, I had to cut out this section of the video where the police officers grabbed me up because YouTube deemed it too violent for monetization and full broadcast of this video. It is in the original video, which is inside the description. You can see the full grabbing here in the original video, but it is too violent for this video. I get my ID. What's that? I was going to get my ID. Okay, What's wrong that? with you, Relax. Right? This is an illegal detention. You know, you this is really illegal detention. Like this is an illegal detention. No, I already told you, you broke the vehicle and traffic law within 100 yards of my time. Under yeah, threat of arrest, I'm clearly under arrest. I'm in handcuffs. I'm in handcuffs, guys. That's fine. You're I'm in handcuffs. I told you. I already told you. You're being detained. You're not arrested. You're not being arrested. I'm gonna cite you. Cite me for what? For walking? Because I caught you. Because I caught you. No. What's wrong with you guys? You're not even in your own town. All well, the time. The problem I have is that people come to me and complain all the time. You okay. guys are writing okay. tickets in Lackawanna. Okay, we're not. I promise you. And what listen. Is going the listen, viewers are going to see that. They're going to go, wait a minute. Is he writing tickets in Lackawanna? Listen, it looks like you're facing listen, Lackawanna. Listen, listen, listen. All right, let me ask you this. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. I don't okay. have a thing on me. Is it all right if I check? If I, if, listen, I don't consent to any unlawful searches and seizures. Not, you can do what you have the lawful authority to do. What I'm you do not have you. any listen, lawful here's, consent here's to search wanna, me or my truck. Here's what I want to do. I want to let you out of handcuffs. All right? Well, but because, what you can legally do. Right. Because of the fact that you're so hostile with me, and I don't know you, I've never met you before. It wasn't right? hostile until you guys put your hands on me. Because you started going into your car. Right? You asked for ID. You're going to get cited for parking up on the curb. That's it. Oh, that's great. Okay? That's great. You're and you're in, now you're in the town of Hamburg. If you look, that's where the city of Lackawanna starts. No, right? we know where the GSA map stands. I'm not going to go through your car at all, all right? I'm going to cite you for parking up in the middle of the... the you're still in traffic, all right? I'm in the road right here. I'm in the road right here. Inflicting traffic or something, you know. That's all you're gonna get, and that's all I ever cared about. But when you, you start don't care around, about me and traffic, but you care about getting caught in last This is a retaliation care, ticket. I already told you. Tell me that. Tell me this is not a retaliation ticket. Go ahead. Tell tell me and the Erie County family this is a re not a retaliation ticket. Oh yeah, he doesn't know what a retaliation ticket is, guys. I told you the reason I needed your ID to begin with is because you were walking in traffic. He doesn't know. What, can I get my ID now? What's it? Where you want me? It's right no, on the center council. What do you think I'm gonna do? I don't know. I don't know you. I've never met you before. All right. 
All I know is that you came up to me and you're being confrontational with me for no reason. So how do I know? I just that you're told not you. There I you asked you what you were doing in there. You come out here to retaliate. No. This is retaliation. Not, no, I came up here to retaliate. Right, if it's not retaliation, then let me roll. Huh? If it's not retaliation, then no, let me roll. I'm getting excited because so I approached you over there and now you're pissed. That you're going to get caught in Lackawanna writing tickets. That's exactly what it is. Am I still being detained? Yes, you are. Just not in the handcuffs. So hang out with my partner. I want to write you a ticket. This is a retaliation ticket, guys. What are you guys so afraid of around here? You guys really afraid of the citizens that much that open a car door and send you guys into a tizzy like that? Like, you you were there. I mean, I, he asked for ID. I went to the car and said, okay, I'll get the ID. You guys are that scared that I was going to go get a gun and shoot you guys over over a traffic violation? Is that what you guys are scared of? Yeah, it's happened. He's going to cite me a citation and retaliation. One citation for 1201A of the vehicle and traffic law. All right, we're not running partly normal because of COVID, so just mail it in. Plead guilty or not guilty by still mail. Still because of COVID, huh? Yeah, yeah I, trust me. I Government wish we convenience. I wish we were still running it like normal, uh, or we started running it like normal. Here's the thing, okay? In the future, if you want to come up and talk to me or any other officer, that's fine. All right, but first thing, first thing that threw me off a little bit, you just sneak up on me. All right, just walking up on my blind spot. So that just throws me off a little bit. All right. Then you start contending that I'm not doing my job or saying I'm doing things improper. Which Bro, I you're am. in lack of wine or facing that way. Right. The so people I'm, are going to see this. You know, like, what I, what I, my opinion isn't going to matter so much is when 50,000 people watch you write yeah, your tickets in lack of wine. You're going to have to deal with that. Yet. You're the first to get a road today. Right. Right. Well, that's first great. All, my, but you did it in lack. Is it written to lack of wine? Why, 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 why didn't you write it to lack of wine? What's that? Why didn't you write it to lack of wine? And Erie County fam, as you all seen in the last video from the Google Maps image here, that sign would have been right in front of AEC's truck and is missing to this date. They are claiming that it was taken out by an automotive accident, but clearly this was cut down by a town. Why wouldn't they have put up a new one? It does look awful convenient that they could sit back down over here, though. Not that sign is gone. Wanna have a discussion with me about the, the propriety of the practices? No, I just want to video fine. record no, that. That's, that's shady. Fine. And I have no problem with that. That's Bro, what that's shady is what it is. Okay, well, if you, we can disagree on that. All right, what I'm saying in the future is, right, don't just sneak up on a cop and be confrontational with them, all right? Have you, I don't know if you watched the news about it lately, but cops get killed like every day. By every right. day, guys. Yeah, literally, all right? People Oof. are getting shot. Cops are getting shot. People how many cops, cops were shot? I, since you've been a cop, how many how many cops have been shot on a traffic stop or pulled a gun on a traffic stop in Hamburg here? In Hamburg? Yeah, in your career. How many times? None, not in Hamburg. Boom. Boom, guys. He's so time. scared. Okay. In Hamburg, New York. Pampered way, Hamburg, way, pretty I much. Don't care. I don't mind you filming. I don't mind you talking to me. I don't mind having a conversation with you. All right, but problem is when you start digging in pockets all right i asked you for your id you refused and then you start digging your pockets right in i didn't dig in my pocket i set my hand in my pocket that is not illegal okay. i know i never you said guys if you guys being, are gonna be scared little that. girls you need to find a new job you're honestly for that okay yeah, you can't cite me for putting my hand in my pocket i know it's not illegal i never said it was right yeah you just that's what i'm talking about when you walked away to go retaliate get my plates and find out who i am because you you weren't happy with what i I did to you what i did to you was perfectly legal getting cited for the thing i asked you for your id it's perfectly legal to walk up on a police officer and take a look at what they're doing it's it's constitutionally protected activity that's fine you can i'm telling you it throws us off a little bit so if you're going to do that and then also yeah it throws you guys off and start retaliating okay either way i'm not how bad does that look how bad does that look i don't know Tell you. you don't know how bad that's gonna look with you what? sitting over there clearly on the other side of the Lackawanna line I you know why you wrote that ticket I'm gonna tell you why I wrote that ticket it's called ego no because you, you guys need to get those in check because if you guys had those I'm egos in check you know. if you guys had those egos in check I'm also we wouldn't have a listen. problem but there would be no dissonance between police and, and okay. the public all right, all right and I don't want to hear you cop explain why you wrote a ticket and how that's that's you know you, you did public safety or something my truck ain't in the road I came over here if I was retaliating I'd write you every ticket I could including walking in the roadway legally which you did and I'm not me and the Erie County family is not a retaliation ticket Oh, yeah, he doesn't know what a retaliation ticket is, guys. If I was retaliating, I'd write you every ticket I could. I don't know what a retaliation ticket is. Oh, yeah. If I was retaliating, I'd write you every ticket I could. I don't know what a retaliation ticket is. Oh, yeah. If I was retaliating, I'd write you every ticket I could. I don't know what a retaliation ticket is. Oh, yeah. Down here today, July 11th, Monday. Um, follow up on that little interaction we had down there with the officer Sullivan. We're going to come down here and file a complaint on him. Um, retaliation, being in Lackawanna putting his hands on me, handcuffing me. Nah, time for a complaint.
Yeah, I'd like to file a complaint. Um, against a police officer. Is there? Your form's right on the wall there. You fill it out and then we'll take it. Uh, there's no supervisor to talk to? Um, I can call him in if you wish. Oh, he's out on the road? He's on the road. Uh, you can give him a call. If he's super busy, he's into something, I'll just fill out the form. If he's not too far away or something, he, he wants to come in, just let him know I'm here. Okay, are you going to fill out a form? Yeah, I'll start filling I'll that out. Officer complaint form on the wall, guys. You make sure to record police interactions. You can pull over, you know you can record that, right? Yeah. They can't stop you. It's illegal if they try to stop you from recording your interactions with police. Mm -hmm. It's the First Amendment of the Constitution. That's what my channel, my YouTube channel is about. Oh, you that's a, Yeah, that's why I'm here. It's, it's called Auditing Erie County. Look it up. Oh, yeah, I watch it all the time. Yeah? <laughs> I, I do. You see I my audit? <laughs> I do watch it. Am I being detained? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Have a good one. And remember, All right. nobody can help you if you don't record. Record. Right. And that, Erie County fam, is the most important advice you can get from an auditing channel. You must record your interactions. A lot of people come to us. Hey, this, this, this happened. But we can't help you unless you record. Make sure you record everything. I'm here today at 227. Niagara Street, down here at Pember, the attorney, to pick up some uh, paperwork for the serving of two police departments. Down here today, Erie County fam, everybody wants to know, are we going to file a lawsuit? The answer is no. We're going to file 11. Now I got to get some papers notarized. Let's go. Get that signing kind of work out today, huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> Lawsuit brought to you by Pembury Law Group. Call Brittany for all your attorney needs. Down here today, it is July 19th. Erie County fam, I want to give you a little background on this next little clip. The Hamburg Police Department called me. It was Lieutenant Baker. Um, he is in the original video, the first time I've been to the Hamburg Police Department. Um, we spoke together, but he called me and wanted me to come down to the station and talk about the video and to give some insight on what happened and, you know, discuss it. So we set up an appointment for 6 o'clock the next day, which is what this clip is. I believing that we're going down to talk to him. We're going to get it on camera. But as soon as we pull out the camera and he sees the camera, that was it. He was done with the conversation and shuts the door in AC's face. I'm not too sure what he had to say to me that he couldn't say on camera, but you guys check this out. Officer, actually Lieutenant Baker wanted to address the mishaps that happened at the line down there and we're gonna go in here and talk to Lieutenant Baker now. When I went to flip the camera around I didn't hit the record button but Captain Ugal here was talking about the phones going off the hook just before I started recording again. About $300,000. Yeah. It's all good though. It brings attention to everything. Yeah. We welcome you all to have Appreciate you. Yeah, we're going here and talk to Officer Baker or yep. Lieutenant Baker now. Yeah, he'll be, I, he might be around. I'm not sure if he's in yet, but he will be. All right. All right, Dad. Dan? Yeah. How are you? Pretty good. We need to take the phone. We're not recording nothing inside here. No? No. No recording? No. All right, well, if we're not recording, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm not sure. Well, we're going to discuss a lot of the questions or concerns from the other day. Oh, we can't record it? No. no. I, I don't do anything on camera with news outlets and everything. All right. Well, I guess I'm, we're going to not talk about it if we can't record. Okay. If we can't go with yeah. recording. But uh, okay. in that case, I do have uh, 
Okay. To All serve right. the serve the town. Sorry, here. you couldn't sit down and talk. Well, I'm not more than welcome to sit down and talk, but you know, it's not necessarily about me, or I'm not here to talk. It's okay. more it's more or less about the Erie County fam that would be the one to talk. You know what I mean? Okay. No, no accountability. There you go. They call me down here to talk about it, but they won't do it on camera. Interesting. Well, we'll just serve them with the papers, I guess, and that's about it. And that's Hamburg down here. Um, Lieutenant Baker called me up yesterday, wanted to talk about things, and uh, he's refusing to do it on camera. So there you guys have it. All we're going to get here and do here today is serve them three documents for the, the town police department we're suing, we're suing Sullivan, and we're suing Taylor here. And tomorrow we'll be back to sue the town. You heard it first guys, he doesn't do nothing with the press. I'm not sure exactly who he thought he was talking to. Um, maybe he doesn't believe that we have the freedom of the press, or that I wasn't the press, or at some point I decided not to be the press. Um, I'm definitely working under the freedom of the press, and so if he's not going to talk to the press, and doesn't do anything with the press, it, it's pretty hard pitch to believe that is how can you talk to anybody we're all the press um, to video record our interactions with the police is constitutionally protected activity I'm not sure what he thought I would come down here and not video record it is it's kind of strange but that's uh, Hamburg I guess there's no change but that is an update that we did just serve the Hamburg Police Department Sullivan and Taylor the town of Hamburg I thought I was looking at this house. I thought that was the clearest. Thank you. You know what? Sometimes it is. You're not wrong. <laughs> I got a notice of uh, intent to sue of claim against the city of Hamburg here. I'll serve you guys with the notice. Oh, well, sure. One moment. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm just here to serve this paper for you guys here. Okay. Um, it's a claim against the town here. Okay. I'll give sue. it to our legal department. Thank you. What well, you guys got? Nail files yeah. from the clerk's office? Can I get one of those? Sure. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Down here today, July 20th, um, the next morning, and uh, we're going to serve up the Blaisdell Police Department village of Blaisdell and that one police officer. We got three good notice of intent to sue here. Yeah, I got a letter for you guys. Um, this is an intent to sue notice. For the this is, an, this is an intent to sue notice for the village of uh, Blaisdell. Okay. It's for a lawsuit. So. Okay, I can take it. No, the other ones are for the police department. Is, it, you, is there people down there right now? Or? I don't think anybody. Is there a police car out there? There's not a police car sitting there. Nobody's down there. No. Not as far as I got, you know, I got to serve the police department and one police officer. You guys can get these to them? I can get them. Yep. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good yeah, one. Good. And can I get your name real quick? My name yeah. is Molly. Molly? Thank you very much. <clears throat> I was here earlier in the year. Molly was here. And uh, they do have some pretty nice customer service down here. Uh, the other lady that was here, I didn't see her. Um, I'll play a clip from that video for you guys here. Down here in the village of Blaisdell today, perform a First Amendment audit on the Village Hall here. It is March 31st, and we got a police car out here running already. Let's see what uh, they got to offer. Make sure they don't violate our civil rights to stop us from recording inside the Village Hall. We got this police car out here running. Checking out inside here. Stuff is running, keeping warm for itself.
help you? Yeah, is, uh, can we have a, take a look at the village budget? The budget? Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Um, this year's would be cool if you have it ready. Pretty good. This is the current fiscal year. We go June 1 to May 31. Cool. I'll this just take it. This is next, and those are my copies. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not going to take them yeah, anyway. And this is a couple of photographs um, here of them. This is next year, they already adopted. On, um, don't quote me, March. <laughs> we already flipped the calendars. March 16th. And your name is? I'm Janet. Janet, you work here as? I'm the village administrator. All right, thank you very much. If you have any questions, just give a holler. I'll be right here. No problem. Thank you very much. You're Very cool. I'm, I'm ready. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Did you have any other questions? Um, no, I'm just working on a little story, getting some photographs of the office here, and just checking out a few things. And uh, we're tall and boring. Yeah, it's not too bad. Back not too bad. Um, is this normally here? The chain with the so, stop? Since COVID, we used to be completely open, but since COVID, we have the chain up. So, like on court days, which there's no court today. You just go through, if you open that door behind you, like if you get through to the court clerk's office. But we had a lot of um, transient people come in. We have a lot of transient people. Come in. They hop off the trains, and this just keeps them contained. All right, thanks. Is there other, other offices up our, upstairs? Up our bathrooms. Are there other? No, upstairs is. Um, so villages are a little different. The fire department is a department of the village, but then they have the fire company, right. which is like the social In other words, part of the fire it's department. It's a pool table and a, yeah, where they uh, have for a the fire room department and upstairs, what have you. Right. So they have total use of the upstairs of the building. And then downstairs is our police department. 
right. which like if we were to take in a uh, somebody who had to be held, yeah. they go to Hamburg. Yeah, all right. Um, so Hamburg does like all the jail operations. So you guys don't actually have a cell down here. No. They would, they would, mm -hmm. The holding would happen yep. in Hamburg. They go to Hamburg. All right, cool. But then like our court clerk, her office is around the bend, which if you want to take a walk through, you can see it. All right. You'll see a little puppy down there. No, I try to stay out of the courts and court, courts have <laughs> certain what? rules about video recording and that. And courts, courts and obituaries is what I try to stay out of. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you ever have any questions, just give us a call. All right. Pretty cool. Thank you very much. All right. Have a great day. It's pretty clean, I like that. Pretty much, yeah, it's pretty small in Village Hall. Pretty nice staff going out here. Like, we live in society now where people want to record how they discipline their child. People that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to commit a crime for me to require you to give me ID. Oh, yeah? Station 25. Do you know the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution? I do. I know it very well. Good. Uh, how are you going to get my ID?